I'm Bob Frederick, the director of the UAH Propulsion Research Center. I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about our students and their dreams and uh, how higher education and NASA research can help them fulfill those dreams and where they plan on going in the future. Well, I was always interested in space, so I knew I wanted to do something that involved propulsion. I was just watching TV and this um, news came up about NASA and all the cool stuff that they did and I was telling my parents that I want to work for NASA someday. When I was young, I always dreamed of being a fighter pilot. My class took a field trip to the Marshall Space Flight Center to the space camp. I looked over at a friend of mine and I said, I want to do that someday. My childhood dream was probably to, be, was, uh, to become a pilot or an astronaut and now that dream is being fulfilled by me being able to, with NASA supplying me with an education and research experience that's going to help astronauts uh, be sent into space. I'm getting great research experience and design experience that's going to help me in the job field later. I can imagine the best benefit that NASA has is that they're also getting some very, very viable research for future design of injectors and uh, future design of, of rocket engines. Oh, when I was a kid, I wanted to be an engineer just like my daddy. No, I was always interested in science and, and chemistry and mathematics especially. Uh, well, we're looking at burn rates for solid propellants and it's helping NASA because um, they're actually looking at using solid propellants in some of their future rockets. In the laboratory, I get to build solid propellant samples and put them in a pressure vessel and then we get to test those samples and analyze a lot of data which involves lots of mathematics. I, I want to be a rocket scientist and working at PRC I'm getting to fulfill that. When I was young I, uh, I wanted to, I, I don't know, I was more of a, an explorer, more of an adventurer. I wanted to, uh, to reach out toward the, toward the unknown and uh, find something new. And, uh, and as I as I got older, got into college, I found that I liked engineering and science and math, and I just it, it was such a really good outlet to be able to come here, um, and for NASA and Hansfield both to give me an opportunity to be able to work on furthering my aspirations of, of adventure and, and I mean think about it years from now we'll be we'll be exploring the stars and this is this is the first step. When I grew up and this is 7,000 miles away from here, uh, I looked up in the sky. This is during the uh, Apollo days. I looked up in the sky and I said to myself. I want, to, I want to work for the organization that sends people up there. And guess what? That dream stayed alive and I just kept going and going and going. And, and I did work for NASA. I worked for NASA. I still work for NASA even as a professor. So never give up your dreams. I mean, just keep going. I want to be a rocket scientist. So it's, I think we have a great future. And I'm happy that I was able to get this opportunity. This is what I like to do, and this is what I want to continue to do. And I hope to do this the rest of my life. When I was a child, people were going to the moon. And uh, so it's no surprise that after growing up in an environment like that, I was able to go to college and universities, get my hands on things. And now I end up in the beautiful position of being a director of a research center at a college where I can help other young people achieve their childhood dreams of working on rockets and being in the propulsion industry. Uh, the big fire that comes out of the end uh, and the loud noise, that's, that's the exciting part.